Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with the next installment of the Off the Board with Pineapple Papers Fabulous Fun Hop started by Crystal Barrett from Pineapple Papers. And this is the pin that I found on my Pinterest and it's so cute. Stay close to people who feel like sunshine. And it was the phrasing as well as the colors that I really loved. And so I decided I'm going to use my Bow Bunny Beautiful Things. And I have the paper pad, some loose papers, and some other this and that's I'll share with you. My sticker pad. Um, one of them is upside down. I found that while I was going through them today. And then I have these um, puffies that are like little shapes and arrows and things. And then I have the stamp set. And then I have this little kit right here, which is the ephemera that I picked up at Joanne Fabrics. And other than the bugs, which I'm, I may have to figure out a way to use, I really do love this collection. Um, and then I have this paper that I bought at Joanne's and because it has the same color feel. I thought it would be perfect. And then I have a couple scraps that I want to get used because that will stick with my um, using scraps. So this is me and my daughter and my son at the airport waiting for my favorite person, my grandma, to show up. And so I thought that it all fit perfectly with um, that phrase. So I got my papers, my embellishments, my stickers, my pictures, and this pin. So let's see how this goes. So the first thing I did was I started to just cut the branding strip off of this. And then I decided I wanted to mat this. So I made it 11, I think I did 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Yes, I'm looking at it. It has to be that way. <laughs> It's not a wide enough border to be any more than that. So I have the butterfly paper and I'm going to pull out my picture and trim it down so that I know I'm going to put this butterfly, butterfly paper in the middle, but I don't want to take up too much of the polka dots or those dots. So I'm, I just want to make sure that there is enough space to where the butterfly paper will show on the top and the bottom. And so that's how much paper I'm going to cut. And I think it's like right around five inches or something, five and a half inches maybe. And then I just trim the branding strip off of this piece. I love that paper. It's gorgeous. All that paint swatchy looking stuff. And so, of course, I set aside the branding strips. One I'm going to pull in and use on this layout. And the other one is sitting right here on my desk. So I am going to mat these lovely pictures or this one lovely picture in this entire mat uh entire layout on black so i have this large 12 by 12 cardstock and then i'm going to pull in just a scrap of black paper to mat my picture in so now i'm using three scraps go me and I end up using the branding strip for one of these. So officially, even though it's from this layout, I would still consider that using a scrap because I wouldn't have used it otherwise. So um, I get all that down. It is now all tacked down. Everything you see is tacked. Oh, no, not the picture. Maybe I haven't tacked it all down. Anyway, so I pulled in the branding strip that I had just cut off. And that's the back side. Uh, the front side, of course, says the bow bunny and everything. Um, and then the back side had a little half inch of the back of this paper, this polka dot paper is that gorgeous green. It is so pretty and it was like a grid paper. And so I brought a little of that green forward by using that strip. And since it had the polka dots on the front, I thought I'd use that too, might as well. So then I just start going through my ephemera kit to see what I could use on this layout. Um, anything with the butterflies was okay because I've already got them on there, but then they ended up being a little bit too much. So I just put them back. Um, these florals are good. I love this one that says beautiful because of the coloring. I don't necessarily want mushrooms on this layout or raspberries. There's some raspberries on that little pink tag, but I can tuck and cover it. It's all good. So these are the things I leave out. A couple of them will go back in like that little file folder. Um, I end up putting that back. Um, and I do love this little tag I just put in, but I'm going to move it over so that they can kind of cluster right here. I'm working on clusters. I am not really good at that. And so I am working on it. 
So I have this one that says beautiful. Like I said, it's got mushrooms on it. And not that I don't think mushrooms are beautiful because I love mushrooms. Um, but not necessarily what I need on this lamp. So I have these little tickets that say admit one and I like those. So I am, we are waiting at an airport for my grandmother. So, you know, you gotta have a ticket to fly. Not that you need an excuse to put ephemera on your layout, but sometimes I need to validate somehow. And really, I'm validating to myself, not necessarily anybody else. So I get this butterfly that came from the Beautiful Things stamp set, and I'm sticking it in this Distress Ink by Tim Holtz in its peacock feathers. And I just put that down in that little space at the bottom left of the picture. And it, there's a lot missing from the inside, but I'm okay with that. I do go in with the sponge sugar and try and get a little of that in there. Um, but to be honest, there, I mean, I can see the pink. It is definitely there. It's not like in your face, but sponge sugar is like a super light pink anyway. So I go ahead and take the sponge sugar and a little baby... Um, butterfly and I just put that all around like a couple on the bottom a couple two or three at the top and just kind of put them there now they're very light like I said they pretty much blend in with all these colors and polka dots but I can see them and I'm going to add some accent to kind of bring them out a little bit more um, here in just a minute and I really just wanted to kind of continue the um the whole concept of the butterflies and not that it has anything to do with the layout but you know butterflies are pretty they fly my grandma's pretty and she was flying so there you go <laughs> if there was validation to be had i can find it so then i take that peacock feathers and i just kind of gently put these little butterflies next to the pink ones. So if you can't see a pink one, look for the teal, and then there's going to be a pink one right next to it. And they're almost crossing. Some of them are touching a little, but for the most part, they're just kind of like right behind, like they're going together. And I do love the way that looks. It just adds a little something else to the layout. And then since it matches this uh, collection, it's the exact same butterfly that's in these papers so I just kind of put those down around and it made me so happy and so then I put this little tag that says well it's not a tag it doesn't have a tag hole or anything but it says beautiful and I love the color it's really pretty and it goes well with that paper that it's sitting right on top of that has all those little paint swatches on it and I put it down and I tape the first one that's um, on there down and now I'm going to put some fun foam on the back of the second one because I want it to have some dimension and then the other one I'm actually going to cut off right there so you can get that same little divot that you're supposed to get at the edge of a ticket those two little divots that come at the end so I cut that off and I love the way that looks I am going to tuck that admit one elsewhere on this layout so that I'm not sticking it in my um, collection and finding use for it later, which I totally could do. I mean, I think that the tickets are something that are pretty easy to put on a layout. Um, and then I have this tag up here. And this tag up at the top had like raspberries or something on it. And I just cut that off, even though raspberries are one of those things that like, I don't know how I'm going to use that, but I'll figure it out. Um, I hate wasting so if I can t cut something off I may just need that little corner of it again or something so even if I don't need the raspberries themselves the little color palette that's on the bottom part of the tag may come in handy so I get out my sticker book and I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna do now I did take that little frame that um, orangey peachy colored frame and it is down there on top of one of those butterflies that I stamped out, the big one. And it does not fit in the middle, and I'm okay with that. I think it's kind of artistic looking, and I love the way that it looks. And it adds a little color to the bottom of this layout as well. So, out of the sticker book, I pull um, a little sunshine 
looking thing and I put that up on the tag just for a little extra color up there and then I'm going to keep flipping I can't get my words out flipping through to see what I can find and I also find this little tag and I'm going to write the date on there um I did not do that on camera but I will write the date on there and the other thing that I pulled out trying to see if it was already there yes underneath the two tickets that are together I cut out or I pulled out a long skinny um, banner and I cut it in half and flipped them so they're both underneath there and then I added a little aqua colored banner that says happiness so it's covering the mushrooms up um, that was really my biggest goal but I did want a little something there so those work well and then I add a black sticker to the end of those little striped banners so it will bring those all together and then I just add some of these little puffies in a different couple of places um, a little cluster of three here one on the um, on that little frame and then one little speech bubble with a heart up at the top and then I've pulled this title, Hello Sunshine, and this is from a Dear Lizzie collection of thickers called Magical. And I thought that Hello Sunshine was perfect because we were waiting for my grandmother. I definitely have said Hello Sunshine to my children before. The quote from um, the Pinterest pen said something about, you know, surrounding yourself with people that make, you know, make you feel like sunshine. So I felt like it was perfect. So I also pull a couple other little um, things off that Dear Lizzie thickers. I pull a yellow star and that's going to cover my tag hole up at the top. I pull a little gold heart and that's going to go over there by that I'm putting it down right there um, by the frame that says beautiful where I put another sticker from the sticker book. And then I also pull out a little gold star so it kind of gives that triangle effect kind of even though the heart and that hello from hello sunshine are really close it still kind of encompasses the picture and brings your eye in so now i'm going to show you the quote again stay close to people who feel like sunshine i love that i definitely stay close to my kids and while sometimes i feel like they are rainy days because they are grouchy kids <laughs> I still typically always feel like sunshine and around them because they bring me a lot of joy. So that's what kids are supposed to do. They stress you out, but then they bring you joy. It's it's fine. See those little butterflies? You can see the pink ones up close. And I also added some black um, enamel dots that are ranger. And I added those to give the little um, peacock feather butterflies a little tail. I hope you'll go below and in the description box and hop along and see all the other people who are creating for off the board with pineapple papers and i hope that you all will go check out this collection this is beautiful i love it so much and the colors are just smashing so have a fantastic day i hope that you will come back and see me again very soon and happy scrapping